I will go I will go anywhere you lead me yeah. I will go under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me yeah. I, 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 oh. please make sure you pray I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious Hallelujah. Not too long ago, I went to preach in a particular nation. And when I got to that nation, coincidentally, our father in the Lord, Baba Deboe, also came to have a private meeting there. And so I requested to just come and honor him and our mother. And when I got there, we, you know, just cracked jokes and spoke and then I got down my knees and for the first time most times he would pray for me alone but this time around he was together with our mother and I will not tell you what they told me but I tell you the truth that if you receive that kind of blessing and prophecy upon your life you can go to bed it was it was from it was from the depth of his spirit and mommy was by his side and he released a blessing from his spirit man. You see, great men are made by secret experiences. Most of them don't share it, but it does not mean it is not there. There are many things that God has granted upon our heads that produce the things that we see. If Reverend Sam should come up with his wife, they would tell you striking moments where one thing after the other happened one thing after the other i remember one time i went to preach for a particular ministry and they kept me at the prayer city mfm and when i had finished preaching later in the night when everybody had gone to sleep protocol had gone nobody to disturb me i came out and i went to the prayer ground and i lay down there and i cried i said god I thank you for a rich prayer life that you have given me but there are people who have this as an office may that grace rest upon my life hallelujah I can tell you story upon story some of these people have gone to be with the Lord and so I have searched for those they imparted upon and say what did they tell you before they died I went to preach in a particular nation not too long it was an incredible meeting one of the highest they had had in many many years 65,000 people and they told me they said one of the fathers of faith said the last time this happened was when Morisorulo came and I was his interpreter I said daddy that means he prayed for you I never had the opportunity to meet him sadly but can you pray for me said, ah great apostle I said no leave what happened on on the crusade ground what happened on the crusade ground is there please can you place something upon my head are we together I once met a group of widows all of them had lost their husbands they covenanted with themselves as a prayer group to keep praying for me that's all they do seven of them my god if these women pray for you seven of them successful people and I had the honor of meeting them and they were all happy wanting to kneel down I said I will not be that stupid I'm wise enough You've lost your husbands and you dedicated yourself to pray for me. I would be stupid to stand there and do MOG. I got down my knees. I said, as mothers, from the bowels of your spirit, pour out that blessing. Let it come from the depth of your heart. I don't know how many times I may have shared it in this blessed church. My encounter with Ekiti, you know, the long life encounter. And I remember the high point of it was not the fact that the oldest man there prayed for me. But I remember the wife of the man who had died 136 years. And the wife was still alive. 
and I pleaded with her. Someone interpreted what I was saying. She only could speak Yoruba. Said, please, let this, I don't know whether I'm a great-grandchild now or whatever I will call. I said, please. And the woman tapped me. We entered a room and she was showing me the photos. That was the husband of her youth. And you know those days they married as teenagers. And I said, please, whatever it is that was on him, that has been on her, can she release on me? She said, kneel down and she removed her shoes and placed her legs on the ground and for 15 minutes this woman was reigning would you call her a grandmother a great grandmother's blessings listen i want you to know that god did not put this meeting this is beyond falling down and standing up this is reprogramming a plethora of graces just resting on your life and then to see what happens years ago i was in joss i went to buy sugar cane and then I saw two women, old women. And I decided to pay for them. They didn't have much, but I said, please, you are mothers. Let me just honor you. And they said, no, 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 no. I said, I insist. And I paid, it was not more than 100 naira. And the next thing they looked at me and they began to bless this young boy. And one of the women looked at me and she said, my son, forever walk upon gold. I don't believe those people were ordinary women I don't believe that so I don't know what dimension is deficient in your ministry open your mouth in one minute you are lying down on a ground here I like you to pray please cry from the depth of your heart cry to the God of heaven Shabante kepe kento kate bakata. Advance, pray, advance, pray, 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 pray. Just a few minutes and we're done. Shape kato se kapata. Embrante salakata vrakata bakatosh. Man of God, pray. Doors are about to be opened for you. Hallelujah. 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 It's a new season in ministry. It's a new season in ministry. Hallelujah. Pray one minute, don't be tired. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. 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 